the food, the fellowship, the fun. I've been having a wonderful time, and I'd recommend anyone to come. It's just, it's a blast. We wanted to share a close and intimate episode with members attending the 2020 Feast of Tabernacles, one of the three sojourning appointed times among the annual Holy Days. We would like you to come and attend, as many have over the years, to experience a spiritual family with Yahweh as the father of us all. She's from out of state. She's come up here and join us. And I got a couple questions. What is the most memorable part so far of the feast? Oh boy, it's all been so good. It's been good singing. I love the singing. I, the, we've had some really good te uh, preaching. I like the evening uh, question and answer sessions where you can, you know, write down and the elders will address the questions and you can, you know, interaction there on the, talking about finding out things that you're not sure about. You know? Yes, yes. I really like that. Yes. Um, this is your it's been a lot of fun. This, he's got his family here, which we will pan around and you can see here directly. Behold how pleasant it is for brethren to walk together in unity, people. In unity. U-N-I-T-Y. But honestly, everything's been good. But today, one of the high points for today was learning how, how brethren from around the world in Haiti, in Africa, the Philippines, were immersed in the, in the, in the beautiful name of Yahshua HaMashiach and helping the word grow, the word spread. That honestly it has been the best part so far. Like the brother said, we actually do the unity. We actually come together, we talk, we feast together, we even have service together. And we do it in Yahweh in Yahshua's name. What would you say would be the most enjoyable thing at this one so far for you? Everything. Everything. The uh, the music, the people, the work, the spirit. What's important, the most important thing is is the spiritual food. Yes, that's the most that's the most important. But the regular food is pretty good too. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, buddy. While the world is having troubles, uh, riots are going on left and right. People are at, at odds with one another. We put all that away and we focus on the Father. Ultimately, we're looking to eternal life. And this life is, is going to pass. Everything that we see is going to melt away. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth and uh, no more sea. I mean, there are a number of things that you get into, especially with Revelation 21. Uh, we find that Yahweh himself, once everything is purified, uh, that he will come down, wipe away every tear, that there'll be eternal joy and happiness. That is well worth being involved in, even now with Yahweh's spirit present and with the word being expounded upon on a daily basis. These are some of our younger people here that's been coming to the feast and I think they got a few things they'd like to say. You have been having fun? Mm -hmm. Now look at him. This is okay. You see him, he's already can he's clowning on the camera. Come on, man. Check him out. <laughs> So what would you say is the best thing so far for you? Like uh, maybe Frisbee, the messages, or like the bidding. Marshmallow. Marshmallow, like the big campfire that we had a yes, couple days ago. Yes. What would you say is the best part of it that you can remember? Um, getting closer to people that I haven't gotten close to, and then just learning the messages. Good. Yeah. How long have you been getting feast? Uh, this, my first feast was in 1973 in Wisconsin Dells. And it was really, really cold feast, but the colors were more intense on the trees up there. And they had fire, fire engine red and real orange leaves up there. And I really miss a lot of the people. I hope they still keep the feast all these years, years ago. No, this has been a very good feast. I uh, particularly appreciate the fellowship, even with my little friends here playing with these geriatric cards. <laughs> but the messages have been very inspiring. Okay. How are you doing? Good. You like them? Yeah. What would you say to be the best thing that, that you've been doing here? Probably sitting in the sermons. Good. Is this your first one? No, it's the third one. What's one of your more memorable moments during all the feast? Um, when, during the baptisms. 
our campground got took away from us, but we're here at the, our home anyway. So how does this compare with this than being out in a beach ground? I'm actually enjoying this one even more because we're right here where, you know, where Yahweh's name is placed, you know, our big old sign outside. Um, I, I think it's great keeping it here. Although I've, I've never had a bad feast in the 30 years that I've been keeping it, so. Having personally kept the feast now for over 30 years, I can also speak to the joy and happiness there is in being obedient to the Father, keeping His commanded appointed times. Plan to keep the Feast of Yahweh and be prepared to have your spiritual knowledge increased exponentially as Yahweh's holy days teach His plan of salvation for all of mankind. The camaraderie is just tremendous. The people are so friendly and so nice. It's well, just great. a bit of joy. Don't think about it, just do it. Just come. Pack your bags and come. <laughs> Keep it going, people. Pay it forward. Keep spreading the word. How long you been coming and keeping? Six years. You looking forward to another six if we're stuck oh, here yeah. that long? Oh, yeah. Come to the assembly. <laughs> I'm going to come to the feast some year with me. We're going to all keep it together. <laughs>